Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ni weradhi hii leo ametetea utenda kazi wa serikali yake na uwekezaji wa mabilioni ya pesa katika miradi ya kuimarisha miundo mbinu humo nchini. Aidha rais ambaye aliongoza taifa kuadhimisha Madaraka Day alitetea kiwango cha deni la kitaifa na kukariri kuwa hakuna tatizo kukopa iwapo fedha hizo hazitaporwa au kutumika kinyume na matarajio ya kuboresha uchumi wa kitaifa. Na kama Francis Gashuri anavoarifu, rais Kenyatta hakukosa vijembe kwa ukosoaji wake. Kwa mara ya mwisho katika utawala wake, Rais Uhuru Kenyatta aliwasili katika bustani ya Uhuru kuliongoza taifa kusherehekea madaraka day ya 59 na huku zikisalia siku 68 mchuano wa kusaka mrithi wake uandaliwe, Rais Kenyatta alitumia hafla ya leo kuweka bayana rekodi ya utendakazi wa serikali yake na kujibu tetesi za wakosoaji wake. Sola kuu likiwa mzigo wa deni la kitaifa alipotoa uongozi wa nchi mwaka 2013 deni la taifa lilikuwa shilingi trilioni 1.8 mzigo huo sasa ukigonga shilingi trilioni 8.2 kufikia mwezi Disemba mwaka uliopita kulingana na takwimu za benki kuu ya Kenya And on this I want to pose a national question How much is too much borrowing When does borrowing become too much and unbearable to a nation. The only time debt is a burden to a nation is if a nation is led by looters. But in the hands of a visionary administration, debt is a catalyst for rapid development. Wakosoaji wa Rais Kenyatta wakimkashifu kwa kukopa kutoka benki za humu nchini na kimataifa kufadhili miradi iliyogarimu fedha nyingi na hata kufungua mianya ya mabonyenyo wachache kujifaidi. If we can transport 10 times more passengers with the SGR at half the price and at half the time and move three times more cargo daily from Mombasa to our neighbors then our borrowing has surely been worthwhile and paid tangible bad dividends kulingana na rais hatua ya serikali yake kuwekeza pakubwa katika miradi ya miundombinu imezaa matunda na kusisimua uchumi wa kitaifa the nayas said the naysayers have said that we should not invest so heavily in infrastructure because people do not eat roads they do not eat bridges i have refused their pessimism because i know What a new road means to a farmer who has for decades been unable to get their produce quickly to the market. Kupunguza mrundiko wa kesi za umiliki wa ardhi ikiwa sola la kujivunia kwa Rais Kenyatta anapokamilisha muhula wake uongozini. In the past all land matters in Kenya were handled using a manual registry and this made the Ministry of Lands a total den of corruption. In fact Part of the Wilson Airport runway to my left here had a title deed registered in the name of a private individual. But as part of the reforms in the land registry, the process of stamping out fake title deeds and reversing this fraud has been accelerated. Mafanikio haya haswa katika muhula wa pili uongozini Rais akisema yamepigwa jeki na hansheki kati yake na kinara wa chungu wa Raila Odinga anayempigia debe kumridhi. Maadhimisho ya madaraka mwaka 2013 ndiyo yaliyofungua ukurasa wa Rais Uhuru Kenyatta mamlakani. Maadhimisho hayo hayo mwaka huo 2022 yakiashiria kuwa anafungasha virago ili kumpisha mrithi wake katika kinyang'anyiro cha mwezi Agosti mwaka huu na japo anasema ametekeleza mengi wakati wa utawala wake kitendawili cha iwapo ameafiki yale ambayo alikuwa ameahidi kinaweza kuteguliwa tu na wakenya Francis Gashuri Runinga Citizen Uhuru Gardens Nairobi